there is all these people who prefer to sit in their familiar hell rather than open the window into a potential heaven. You know, if you're prepared to open the window and take that risk of jumping out of what is totally familiar, although it's hellish, then the potential that's on the other side of that window is is your potential as a human being. And, you know, it is great. And that is why the gods envy us. I always say the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. And I think because a lot of the material we're going to go through and have been going through is in the unconscious of people, they don't realize how much of an impact it's having on their daily life. They think they have free will, but they don't realize that they're highly programmed. And so the unwillingness to look just means you stay uh, on the puppet master's strings. But once you look and you can see the strings, then you're in a position to use your free will to cut the strings. So I think today is a good day for us to become aware of what strings need to be cut uh, on a grand scale or the puppet show continues to go, don't you think? Absolutely, Paul. And you know, this is where the, the whole phenomenon of Jesus, the Jesus, you know, story comes in really, really important because for the people of the West, and indirectly for all the people around the world who've been, uh, you know, they have been somehow engulfed in the overall sort of a mindset of the Christian West, you know, that has dominated the world. This whole business of Jesus really epitomizes uh, a big, big chunk of what you've just said. So um, it'll be it'll be really both important and I think enlightening to to consider the story of Jesus 